We stayed overnight at the Why Not Winery in Glens Ferry, Idaho. What did we think about the experience? Let's dive into that today. So the Why Not Winery is kind of interesting actually because it's kind of an RV park and it's kind of a harvest host. I've talked about the Harvest Host program in other videos, but basically it's a membership program where you join the program and you get to camp overnight at all kinds of interesting locations. Wineries are a common one, but also farms, breweries, all kinds of neat places. They even have a golf course package now. So Why Not Winery is part of the Harvest Host program and they have a couple of spots in their parking lot where people can do that. But this winery also operates a full-fledged RV park with full hookups. And interestingly, there are so many spots that there are basically two RV parks. So when we headed down here, we accidentally headed into the wrong RV park. There's the old park, a house in the middle, and then the new park is the second one. And we were parking in a pull through in the second one. So that one that we went into was the old RV park. This yeah, is the one down here. Yeah, it even says spaces one through 17. It does say spaces one through 17. We did not read that correctly. Well, so they have a bunch of signs right there. They literally, Okay, well, you know what? We'll show and YouTube so the, they don't do the same thing we did. this is the new one up here. Yes. Well, you know, you can always just pull in the way we did. We did, yeah. yeah. They were wonderful, honestly. So so this is our space here. And there's 23. Yeah. You see 23? Okay, so you know how to get in and everything. 18 through 56. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, we knew it was kind of right there, right? Yes. It was on the end there. That is so easy. Perfect. And it looks nice and long too, right? <laughs> Rebels just a little loose. Should work for an overnight. Yep, it's about an hour outside of Boise. For us, it was a really easy stay on our way from Salt Lake City to the Oregon desert. On a weekend where we didn't want two terribly long travel days, but we wanted to double hop and get a little further. And I'll tell you, I went in with low expectations for an RV park that's basically just operated by a winery. What did I think? Well, let me show you around the park. And then I'll talk about what we thought about the actual winery, which has a restaurant as well. So here's the RV park. As you can see, we have gravel roads, and all the spots are pull-throughs. Nice big wide road too in between the spots. So not hard at all to maneuver. And here is our RV. I'll take you for a walk around our site. See, we got this nice lawn here. They've got those stones there that kind of set it off. And down here, I want to show you something. I want to show you how new this park is. They got this tree here. Looks pretty young. Check this out. It's so new that the price tags are still on the trees. The dimensions and the price and... I have never seen that before. A park's so new that there are price tags still on the trees. You see the site is plenty long. We were able to fit our 32 foot class C motorhome and our two door Jeep with no problem. And we're still all hooked up here because we're just doing a quick overnight. Now you'll see that orange thing is the dump site. It's way back. So we weren't able to hook it up while we were parked for the night, unfortunately. It would work better if you had, you know, like a truck and trailer, it'd be at a better position, but with the motorhome, it wasn't optimal for us. We didn't have a long enough sewer hose. But we have everything else hooked up. So they don't have a ton of frills in this park, but they do have a small outhouse and a dumpster. So it's a porta potty that's made up like an outhouse, which is kind of cute. And I will say, check this out. Ratface loved this little RV park. He was really into the grass. 
This was after a pretty long travel day, and he's old. He's not as spry as he used to be. Sometimes when we have a long travel day, he's kind of gloomy, wants to sleep at night. Not so at this RV park. He was out and about checking everything out. Really raring to go. I was amazed. He basically begged to go outside. Anyway, that's the RV park. I want to show you the two Harvest Host spots. They're right next to the office, kind of as you're coming in, where you check in for the RV park and if you want to have dinner and all that. And as we're driving in to ask for directions, we spotted somebody parked in one of them, but there are two. There's another one right in front there. So if you are going in via the Harvest Host program, that's where you overnight. And here's just a quick shot of the office where we checked in for the RV park and also for our dinner reservations. And here's just a quick shot of the dining room. And it was nice walking back afterwards through the vineyard. We saw some quail running through, some California quail, and enjoyed how pretty the grapes looked. Okay, so you've seen around the RV park. Let's talk about the pros and cons. The first pro is we had a big site, especially the one that we picked. We actually had double grass lawns because we were there on the end. We had the one next to the road and then we had the one next to our neighbor. And that was really cool. Ratface really enjoyed that after a long travel day, being able to get out there and be able to walk and enjoy all that grass. Really great for him. I will say though, be careful about the plants there. At least in our site, there was Russian thistle which is the plant that most classically is associated with tumbleweeds and it's poisonous to cattle and cats and dogs so you need to be careful but the actual grass was lovely the next pro is full hookups pretty cool at a harvest host location honestly and it was 40 dollars a night which frankly not too bad at the daily rate especially with the winery right there really great overnight for us another big pro was that our site was level enough for a comfortable overnight stay which was really nice we didn't have to unhook and level and all that although we thought about unhooking which i will talk about in the con section and the final pro is that the park is new in fact it is so new that as you could see there are still price tags on the trees it's nice when things are shiny new isn't it although that also comes with disadvantages which i'll get into in the cons okay so those are all the pros let's talk about the cons the first con has to do with the park being so new and that's the fact that the gravel on the roads is deep and loose it hasn't had time to compact down from the tires now they could to come in and done that with a machine you know for some reason they didn't that's fine it'll probably happen over time as people drive over the gravel but when we went kind of tough almost got stuck a few times and when we were walking to the winery sometimes it was like oh boy even hard to walk on but it is what it is and it will resolve with time and as people visit the second con is why we almost had to unhook. So as you saw, as I took you through the site walk around, the sewer connection is way far back in the site. And now that would work great for a travel trailer or something where you're pulling way up. But for a motorhome, it really wasn't feasible for us. We definitely considered unhooking in order to position the stuff. We ended up not doing that and then, you know, dumping later, but it did take away some of the convenience of full hookups for us. And it kind of forced us into this situation where we're like well do we hook up or we don't so minor con something to keep in mind and finally it's a no frills rv park there's no amenities like laundromat or a shower house although i was pleasantly surprised to find that they did have that outhouse that they had decorated very nicely as well as dumpsters which Frankly, the dumpsters were very important because even for an overnight stay, you never know, you know, on travel day, if you're gonna have something you need to throw out, you know, so I was really glad to see that. Okay, so that's my thought of the RV park. What was the winery like? To make a long story short, it was pretty nice. It was affordable for a winery and they had a golf course that looked nice as well. We're not big golfers, we don't have clubs or anything, but just looking at the prices, it seemed really affordable to golf there from what we've seen. So if you're an avid golfer, that could be a really good activity for you. It seems like it's priced really well. As far as our meals, the menu was great. The food was really well cooked. They had a lot of basic fare and then they had some kind of more adventurous options and 
throughout the menu, they used wines that they had grown on property, which was really cool too. And even the really basic food was well seasoned and perfectly prepared. I will say that the service was extremely slow the night we were there. I think it took us almost two hours to get through a pretty basic meal, but they were understaffed the night we went. The waitress was trying to do everything herself. She was lovely and attentive and kept us in the loop and she even comped our wine flight, which I thought was really nice of her. And speaking of the wine, it was really good. Like, excellent wine. We're big red drinkers. There was a lot there that appealed to us. It was the best winery we visited since we've been on the road as far as wine goes. And they seemed like there was a good variety regardless of what you drank. Like they had some whites and some blushes and some dessert wines. So it's not like they only had one thing, but the reds that we sampled, we loved. We ended up getting three bottles because we loved the wine so much. And our waitress was nice enough to throw in a free tote bag. She made it up all nice for us, so. We were very pleased by that whole experience. So the bottom line here is we had a wonderful overnight. I think I would stay in the RV park. It was just really nice having the hookups. If you're all going all out, you're going to the wine, you're having a big date night, you're getting dinner and drinks and wine and all that, having the extra few bucks for the hookup, it's totally worth it just to be a little bit more comfortable. You have the AC and all that good stuff and take a nice shower when you get back. It was a wonderful overnight and we would definitely return the next time that we're in the area and need a quick overnight. 10 out of 10, one for the books. And I do think it would be a nice harvest host too if you were looking to do that. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.